Hey beautiful family, it's Anna. I am just popping in really quick. I literally just got out of work about 15 minutes ago. So I uh, just wanted to let you guys know the tag video that I was supposed to post today is going to be up tomorrow. And uh, I just really quick want to say uh, I have so much love for my subscribers, but I also have love for the other acquaintances and friends that I have that are content creators. And if they're going through hard times, I want to be there for them. And I also want to respect them. And yeah, so there's that. Uh, that's all I really want to say. Um, there's a hair and it's hopefully gone. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I'm just so over this week. I just want this week to be over and today's Friday so that's great. And you guys, this is my last weekend being 27. And I wanted to just talk about that very briefly and this whole thing that I always believed in and was always afraid of and that is the curse, the curse of 27. And that is, if you don't know, a bunch of people and celebrities passed away at the age of 27. If you have not ever heard of this phenomena, you can do a quick Google search and bring it up. It is a real thing. And the lifestyle that I lived when I was younger, me and my friends used to joke around that we weren't going to make it to 27. And after a while, it was not a joke anymore, uh, the way that I was living. And Trying to pull myself together. I'm not going to edit this out because I don't care if I get emotional. I've lost a lot of people to overdoses and um, the drug epidemic we have in this country and that stays with me. You know, those people were a part of my life and each of them individually and on a personal level and our relationships together, that will always stay with me. They will always be cliche, but in my heart, you know, and in my mind. And I, I think of them often and I am turning 28 on the 28th. So not only have I survived 27, well, we have until Monday, you guys. Oh my God, knock on wood. That was so morbid. Um, not only have I survived 27 and made it, and had a really beautiful year with you guys and just in general getting married and just going through a lot of life experiences that were good, going through ones that were bad and it's been it's been a good year even with the even with the downs, you know, there's been more ups and just sharing my life with you guys and opening up with you guys more and more as we go on. You know, I feel comfortable doing that. And even though there are haters out there that, you know, want to call me names and this and that, blah, 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 I don't care. It's, um, I'm still going to share things on my channel for my subscribers. I'm not sharing things for my haters. My haters 
they can, you know, they can kick rocks. It's, it's, it is what it is. But I'm grateful for being able to be on this earth right now today, 27 years old and about to turn 28. And I am so excited for what 28 that year is going to bring me. And I'm petrified of my 30s, so I'm really going to enjoy 28 and 29. And then after that, I'm going to start lying about my age. Actually, I'm probably going to start lying about my age after I turn 28. So, like, Monday is the cutoff where I'm going to start just saying I'm 28 forever. So, that's really all I wanted to dive into today because I thought about it all day long. Like, just everything. This whole year and how how I've lost people and that whole curse that always bothered me and that I always thought was a real thing and how I used to make a joke out of it until it became real and a real fear for my loved ones and for me. It's not a joke. And... I'm going to use a phrase that Peter Mon always uses because I freaking love Peter Mon. I don't care if you're a Peter Mon hater, I love him all day long. But life is not a dress rehearsal. And I love that phrase. Because it's so true. We're not promised tomorrow. And our friends and our, our, our loved ones, you know, they don't always tell you what they're going through. And I just think it's important for us, me, you guys, to communicate with your loved ones and with, um, for me, you know, and if you're a content creator, communicate with your fellow content creators because you never know what they're going through either. It's just important. And, um, so the curse of 27, thankfully, did not bite me. And... I'm grateful for that, and I'm grateful for you guys, and I am, of course, you guys know, going to end this off on a positive note and say that it's my birthday weekend, and I am excited about that. I'm actually going to be looking for a new vehicle, and I really want to lease a Beamer, but it's going to be like way too expensive. Right now I have a Nissan Quest minivan, so from a Nissan Quest to a Beamer is a big jump. So probably not going to happen, but um, we can dream, can't we, you know? So there's that, you guys. That's, that's all I've got. And, um... My tag video is a topic that is extremely important and I'm going to be posting that tomorrow, Saturday. So look out for that and I'm not editing this video because I just want to spend time with my husband tonight. I am beat. It has been a long week. So if I've repeated myself at all, I'm, I do apologize. I literally... Just no brain stem left at all today. And I, my eyes are so naked, it's really bugging me. So I am going to get off of this screen. So on a positive note, birthday weekend, turning 28 on Monday. So send me birthday wishes. I have a P.O. box if anybody wants to send me a birthday card. And that's it. That's everything, you guys. 
if you liked this video, even though it was a little bit uh, somber, but uh, you know, always positive at the end, then like this video. And if you like my content, then subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.